Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna check it out some realistic buttons and like a paper effect, but this is mostly used I saw in UX UI. It might be a little bit outdated, but uh, only now I saw how it's done. So I'm gonna present you how to do it. All right, first step, I gotta click on the stroke, click on none, click on the fill. I'm gonna select a darker gray. I mean the lighter gray, of course. I gotta go with this one. I'm gonna select a rectangle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, create a rectangle. This is gonna be the background. Now I'm gonna select the circle, ellipse tool, gonna go to the center, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up. So this is gonna be another background. It's gonna be the same gray color. I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, or you can go to Edit, paste in front. This is gonna paste another circle on the front. I'm gonna scale this down. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down. Let's see the difference. So the distance needs to be something like this. And I'm gonna go to the gradients, activate the gradients. So this one needs to be white. And this one, I'm gonna double click. And I won't select this gray. I'm gonna select something darker. I'm gonna go somewhere with this. I'm gonna try it out with this one. I think previously I tried with something lighter, but let's test this out. Good, I gonna go and type in 45 degrees. So I'm gonna swap it here. Reverse gradient, there you go. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. I'm gonna scale it down a little and I'm gonna swap it here. So here is gonna be the dark, here the light. I'm gonna select this, the other one, press and hold Shift and also select the background circle. We selected both. Go to Object, go to Blend, Make, Double click on the blend, select specify steps. I gotta go with 300, click on OK. Let's see what happened. Oh, there you go, this is it. It's kind of floating, it's kind of floating. I don't like that much. I gotta scale this down a little more, see what happens. No, I gotta scale it up. Eh, not that bad, not that bad, but not the best either. So yeah, it needs some experimentation, you know, to test out, see what's going on with this thing and uh, create some cool stuff out of it. So far, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.